Well, hello, Bishop Wooden here. <laughs> Glad to be speaking to you today, and I want to say something to you, maybe a little early, but I want to be among the first to say this to you. Merry Christmas <laughs> and a Happy New Year. What a marvelous time of the year this is. Can you believe that 2017 is almost gone? And what a year this has been, a year of honoring God and worshiping the God of the Bible. And I tell you, God has been good to us and the Lord is faithful and I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. Now, you got to come out tonight because I want to talk. I want to read something. Then I want to tell you something. The Bible says this, and I agree with this man's assessment of God 100%. And this was King Nebuchadnezzar after the Lord got through dealing with him. He says in Daniel chapter 9, chapter 4, excuse me, and verse 34 through 35, he says, And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto heaven, and mine understanding returned unto me, and I blessed the Most High and praised and honored uh, him that liveth forever. Look at, look at this, whose dominion is from everlasting to everlasting, or his dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. Look at this, and all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. By comparison, nothing. And he doeth according to his will. In the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his hand or say unto him, What doest thou? Nobody can stop God's work in the earth. No one can stand up before the Lord God of heaven and say, Hey, God, what are you doing? As though God has to give an account to us. Now tonight, I'm going to take a little break from the temptations of Christ in the wilderness. We're going to return to it. God blessed us mightily Sunday morning. And I want to talk to you about something that is very important. I want to talk to you about the will of God because I want you to know that nothing can alter nor stop the will of God and that God's will God's callings, God's intentions are without repentance. He's not going to not do what he has declared uh, he's, what he has declared that he will do. And, and listen, he's going to do it with me or without me. He's going to do it with you or without you. And the best thing that we can do is find out which way God is moving and then move with God. Let me say this in my close. You don't need to be concerned about the will of God for your life. You don't need to be concerned about any of those things. Here's what you need to be concerned about. You just need to be concerned about the will of God. You just get in the will of God. Hallelujah. You get in his will. You move with what God is doing. You stand with the God of the Bible. And you don't have to worry about what it is that he wants you to do specifically because he will reveal those things. See, people are running here and there and uh, buying this book, buying that book, going to this conference, going to that conference, trying to find the will of God for their lives. And they return back to their local churches more confused. Many times they, they hear things uh, that they think are from the Lord and are not, and they get led astray, and they end up missing God. When it is very simple, find out from the Bible what God's word says. Obey the word of God, and guess what? You'll find yourself slap dab in the middle of the will of God for your life, God's will for the universe, God's will which cannot be altered. I'm going to talk about it tonight. I want you to come and hear me. God bless you. And again, Merry Christmas.